something really unique today. Yeah, I'm excited. If you want a different color, just let my helpers know when they come around, okay? Hey, friends. How are we? We have Harry Potter shirts. We've got lightning bolts on the forehead. I was playing Harry Potter when you walked in. Did you hear that? It's just that one song is the only one. <laughs> the rest of the soundtrack is really like, huh, what am I listening to? So I switch it up. I'm excited to paint Harry Potter and his friends with you guys. Is anyone here for the first time? Hi, welcome. Oh, oh, we got lots over there in that corner. You guys just support, okay? Support each other. Uh, my name is Miss Cammie. I will be teaching the class. You can see my sketch up here, my hand. Really simple, you just follow me, okay? Our paintings are all gonna look different right even though we're painting the very same thing and usually with characters we put a ton of pressure on ourselves okay <laughs> so take that off and just remember you're here for the experience we're not like picasso yet okay we're getting there but we're just not there yet so don't panic if you need help if you run out of paint if there's a drip on your canvas if we're painting orange hair on uh, Ron and it gets in his face and you're panicking, don't cry, okay? My helpers have the tricks to get that out, okay? So just raise your hand and ask. And it's easier for them to bring you paint than for you to go get it. So if you run out of paint, just raise your hand and ask for it, okay? My helpers today are Miss Autumn. Wave to Miss Autumn. She just had, we had quite the morning, huh, Miss Autumn, okay? <laughs> Be nice to us, please. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, over here is Miss Maylie. Hi, Miss Maylie. Okay, so they'll be helping you. Keep your paint on your canvas. Don't paint yourself. Don't drink the water. You guys know, right? Okay. Um, if I'm painting the scarves, stay with me. Don't move to the faces, okay? You'll be tempted to move on if you're a faster painter than me. Um, but don't because you might miss important steps, okay? So just stick with me. If you get done before me, just wait, okay? And if you fall behind, that's totally normal. Don't stress out. We'll help you catch up, okay? Any questions? Yeah. What's up? Uh, on Ron? Um, go with the brown. Go with the brown. Yeah, because we're going to make the skin tone and then lighten that up, okay? Okay. All right. Good question. This is also a live class, so we're on YouTube right now. We're famous. You're not, but I am, okay? But you can go home and be like I was in that class, okay? So we're going to get started. I'm going to flip my screen here because I'm a one-man show, right? Okay, here we go. We got more friends, girls. Okay, so let's start with our background. Red brush, okay? Maylee, did you check adult brushes? Check those, okay. Red brush, get it wet. You have two jars of water. One you should keep clean during class. That way, if you need to dilute your paint, you can do it with clean water, okay? Our background is going to be this really fun sky blue. So if you look at your plate, you've got the blue right there. We're going to make it lighter unless you want it that dark, okay? I like to make it lighter, so I'm going to get a scoop and mix it with some white, okay? until I have the color that makes my heart happy. Remember that it dries a shade or two darker on your canvas, okay? So if you like the color, add a little more white to it because it'll, it'll dry a little darker on your canvas, okay? And then we're gonna fill it in. I've got a little more sky on my canvas than you because I've got a bigger surface so don't let that throw you off so just like we need lots of water in the summer our paint needs more in the summer than normal so if your paint feels thick and sticky almost glue like and you're not filling in those grooves of your canvas well that's a water problem. Add some water, okay?
And then when we get close, we're going to do our best, of course, to stay out. of our character's hair. Don't forget to wrap your canvas, right? What does that mean for my new people? Your canvas is your gift. Your picture is your wrapping paper. So if you were to wrap it with wrapping paper, your picture would go around the edges, right? So just think about that as you paint. Is your picture hugging the edges as well? That way, when this picture goes over the mantle, it'll be nice and finished. All edges done. So the only hair that you need to panic if you get blue paint in is Ron's, okay? Um, the other two have dark enough hair that if you get some blue into it, it's fine, but Ron's is orangish color, okay? And orange and blue aren't that friendly. So if you get a big chunk of blue in his hair, that's when you should ask for some assistance. If you get a little bit, it's okay. Remember to switch from the flat of your brush to the toe of your brush to get in between those little hair um, pieces. You'll be able to do this whole thing with this brush. Okay. And there's a silly shape in between Harry and Ron. Kind of like a squiggly diamond shape. And that's the background. So it's usually the top of the canvas that we forget about because we're kind. most of us, when we sit down, the canvas might be taller than us. So make sure that you flip it over or set it on its side so that you can see the top and get the top, okay? Got some concentrated artist today. This is serious. Harry is serious. So once I have my background on there, I'm going to add a chunk of white to the corner of my brush. Do you see how one, like half of my brush has white on it? I'm going to take that and I'm going to just put like these streaks of white around the hair. Kind of, it's almost like you're giving them a halo. I'll show you this up close. See how they have just these little white streaks? So this helps your background not be so flat, okay? So if you want to add those, just add a chunk of white to your brush and blend it in while your background is still wet.
When you're ready to wash your brush, make sure you do it in one jar, and then that becomes your washing jar, okay? So we're trying to keep our other jar of water clean, okay? How are we doing? So like we talked about in the beginning, some of us are going to need more time than others. That's okay. I'm going to keep a steady pace, okay? But I don't want that to cause you panic, okay? Because you will be able to finish your painting um, today, okay? You will go home with it. Make sure you look up at the screen every once in a while and have your full background in. Make sure you get that little shape in between Harry and Ron, okay? Wash your brush really good. We're going to be using that same brush again, okay? So get it nice and clean. All right, we're going to work on their skin tone now, okay? So for their skin tone, I'm going to grab a touch of brown and move it to some white, okay? Just start with little bits because you can, you can add, but you can't take away. And do you notice how I bring it to my pile of white and I only scoot like half my pile of white over. I don't use the whole pile, okay? That way I still have some clean white. And I'm going to add a touch of orange to it too, okay? So I did a touch of brown and a touch of orange. So that's about the, the shade that I want. But again, keep in mind it dries darker, right? So I'm going to add more white to it unless you want them to be very tan, which is okay too. Nothing wrong with a good tan, right? Okay. So again, it's little bit of brown, a little bit of orange, and white. And now we're going to paint all their faces. Okay. If you need help finding that skin tone, ask my helpers. And you, the faces on the ends of your canvas are going to need to be wrapped around, right? So make sure you wrap Ron's face around the edge of your canvas. Haley, I've got a hand over here. I don't know where Autumn is. So if you get some of the skin tone in any of their hair, it is okay. So when you get to Harry, those lines for the glasses are pretty crucial to your happiness, okay? Um, you can try and paint just around them so that you can maintain that pencil mark. Depending on how much white you have in your skin tone, you can paint over it like I just did and still see it, okay? Just test it out first because you don't want to not be able to find those lines because circles are not fun to freehand.
and Harry's got a lot of messy hair. So again, if you get your skin tone in the hair, his hair is black, so it's not a big deal. Also, we'll do another layer on their face. So if you see a lot of um, brush strokes and that's kind of making you panic a little bit, instead of putting on the paint super thick, just put a nice layer on there, let it dry, because we're going to come back to the faces, OK? Wrap your canvas, those faces on the ends, you've got to wrap those around, okay? Because it's always sad when we finish our painting and then we go home and we realize we forgot. Don't um, hesitate to ask for help if you need it, okay? Check on him. Yeah. Yeah. Did I answer you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, different. Yeah. Okay, remember, some of us are going to have a little bit more of a tan, all right? Some of us will be a little more pale. It's okay. I told you they will all be different, right? They will be. Okay, let's work on Ron's hair. Also, if you're feeling behind and you want a helper to help you catch up, they can. Okay. Do you want some help, bud? Okay. You want to help him? All right. So here's my orange for Ron's hair. I want to add some brown. So I'm going to take a scoop of brown over to my orange and mix it together. Okay. I took a scoop of brown over to my orange. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to add some white. Okay, so scoop of brown to my whole pile of orange. And then I added some white. And that's going to be my color for Ron's hair. Again, 
we'll come and do another layer. Orange is one of our shy colors. It just needs two layers, okay? So don't put it on super thick thinking that it's going to help. And see, I'm just going to go through and leave the little flyaway hairs like that so that I can go back with my detail brush. Because I want to make sure those little flyaways are nice and pointy. So I'm going to do those with my detail, but I'm going to fill the hair in with my flat brush. So once you fill it in, switch to your detail brush and get those flyaway hairs, okay, with your detail brush. So you're in a little bit more control. Just have three little hairs to do. Mainly is autumn washing brushes. So we're using some uh, darker colors. So our um, darker oranges and our browns, they're going to take layers, okay? So don't, again, don't put it on super thick. This table over here, Autumn, has a few hands up. Um, it won't benefit you to do that, okay? Put a nice thin layer on, let it dry, and then we'll go back to it, okay? Okay, we're going to do our lone female's hair next. She's a favorite of mine. So we are going to keep using our flat brush, okay? And we're going to move some white over to brown. I don't want you to use all your brown, okay? See how I'm just pulling my brown but leaving a little bit of dark on there. So do that. Just pull so that you still have some dark brown to work with later. Okay. And make a light brown for her hair. Okay. And then we'll fill it in again. It will need layers.
Make sure you wrap your canvas. If you get some brown in Harry's hair, it's okay. Her hair comes all the way down. If you need to switch to a detail brush to get the last little curl in her hair, you can do that. Remember that their robes are going to be black. We're going to do that last, and it's going to clean up anywhere that you feel like maybe you went out of your lines or anything like that. I've got a couple hands up. I just did white and brown. <laughs> so again, switch to your detail brush for the last little curl on her hair if you need to, okay? And remember, we're trying to use one jar for cleaning, right? So keep that in mind, too. Trying to have a clean jar of water throughout class, okay? Okay, I'm going to walk around and give a couple people some time to catch up. Um, if you're already finished with these steps with me, just let your brush clean your brush. Okay, and we'll go to the next step in just a second. Hey, there's a hand over here. How you doing, honey? Good. Okay, remember, you can wrap your canvas. You can wrap Ron's hair around. These are looking fantastic, friends. Yeah, if you get any of uh, any colors at all into Harry's hair, or into the robes, don't worry. It's black, it's gonna cover right up, okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go back to the faces and I'm gonna fill in, uh, do another layer of their skin and then some shadowing, okay? Um, some of you I'm noticing didn't paint the inside of Harry's glasses. Remember, it's glass so it's see-through so you're going to want to see that skin okay so see right here got its skin behind the lens okay so you're going to want to fill that in too okay so let me show you what we're going to do i'm going to let's start with ron i'm going to fill ron's face in again with my skin tone Okay, and watch what I do real quick before you start. With skin tone on my brush, I'm going to go to Hermione's hair, put some brown 
the hair color I used, put a little brown on one edge, and then I'm going to put a shadow around Ron, everyone's favorite part. Okay. Okay. So let's look up close to our original piece. Do you see that dark, or like Harry's face, Hermione? See that? Okay, that's what we're doing. So you want the skin tone on your brush, and then not the dark brown, but the light brown that you mixed. Okay? And then we're going to shadow. Studio policy. She won't even do it for her aunt. So rude. Are you here to just color by numbers, Catherine, or do you want to learn? Okay. <laughs> yep. So this is what my brush looks like. Okay. The trick to this, guys, is use your entire brush. A lot of people want to just use that corner. Use your whole brush, okay? That way you have that faded kind of ombre look. Remember, if you get into their hair, we're doing another layer. The world is not ending here. It's okay. And it helps if your paint is not super thick. So if you need to add clean water to your paint to dilute it, your paint should always be the consistency of melted ice cream. So when I'm doing the shadowing, I am not stressing about getting some of that brown in the scarf or in their hair. I'm just focusing on getting that in, especially with Harry because he's got so many flyaway hairs here. Do the best you can do. If you start the process and you're like, you know what? I'm going to love my painting more if I just do another layer and not do any shadowing. Do that. Okay. You're the one that's going to be looking at your painting. Okay. And it's yours. I'm going to teach you how to do things and then you can choose whether or not to do them. Okay. the floating around. So make sure she has skin on and then some of the light brown. a busy class. Looks good, Catherine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you just have to come more. Practice, practice. Again, this is optional, okay? Start, try it. If it doesn't work, put another layer of skin tone on your uh, characters and don't do the shadowing if it's stressing you out. This is just something you can try if you want to, okay?
You okay? No, you're good. So it's orange, brown, a little bit of white. If your shadow gets away from you and you're like, whoa, this is a thick stroke of brown, it's pretty forgiving. You can add just the skin tone to your brush and blend that in, okay? All right, I'm going to go over to Ron and put another layer of my orange into Ron's hair, okay? Second layers are always a lot easier because your grooves already filled in. Same thing, I'll switch over to my detail and do the little flyaways. Make sure those get another layer too. How are we doing guys? Feel, I feel there's a little bit of stress. Don't forget you're here to have fun. Okay, and it's okay if it looks different. Make sure as you're switching from your flats to your details that you're washing that detail in between, okay? You don't want to leave your detail brush full of paint because then when we get to the glasses and the face we're going to have this stiff brush that's hard to work with okay okay so I just did another layer on Ron's hair Autumn, how many are with me? Are you just kind of glance for me? So before you wash the orange out of your brush, we're going to lighten some of it. So I want to get a little bit of white and make a really light orange, okay? So I'm making a really light orange. I want there to be a good contrast between Ron's hair color and this light orange that I made, okay? So make sure you're generous with the white. Make sure you've got a little pile, 
Okay. And then wash your brush. We're going to go ahead and highlight Ron's hair while he's got that wet layer on because that's the best time to do it. So made some light orange, right? So now I'm going to reload my clean brush with Ron's hair color, dip the corner in the light orange. So this is my brush now. Okay, and now we're going to make a part right down the center of Ron's hair. Okay, he's got that part in the center. I made sure, guys, I made sure that I checked all these characters. This is what we did on their faces. Same thing except we're loading with Ron's hair color and the corner of our brush is in our lighter color. Okay. Just glance up at the TV so you can see where these lines are going, these little highlights. So we can have whiteouts just as easy as we can have blackouts. So if you have too much highlight, just go back, put some of the darker orange on your brush, okay? So this whole class, I'm going to be doing that half, half and half on my brush to get my highlights and my detail lines. Okay? If this is a real struggle for you, it is okay. It is normal. It takes practice. You can just use a detail brush and put those lines. You could just detail brush a part into Ron's hair. Okay? It doesn't have to be exactly the way I do it. I don't want you to get stressed. If you're not enjoying it, switch up the way that you're doing it, okay? So we're going to move over to Hermione and do her hair now, okay? So we're going to do another layer. So get that light brown. And we're going to fill in her hair with another layer of brown. And then remember, I had you save a little bit of your dark brown. We'll shadow around her hair with that dark brown. Okay, so you get to do more of the things you're loving. You're welcome. Remember, you can switch your brushes if you need to. 
coming together, guys. All these steps, they matter to your whole piece, okay? It takes effort, but it's worth it, okay? So I'm going to put the corner of my brush in that dark brown I've saved, okay? And I'm going to go around her hair now. Give her a part two, okay? A nice corner of dark brown. Now we're going to put this all along. Again, if you go into Harry's hair, we are not going to waste our time stressing about that, okay? But we're going to go all the way down her pretty hair. You can even shadow a little bit by on the other side where the scarf is. Good job, guys. She's like so good, guys. Got a lot of our like crazy good job hard work in. It's gonna all come together and all of these all these details will be worth our time getting them in before we go to our next steps, okay? Again, if anybody needs one of my helpers to just get them caught up, okay? They can do that, no problem, okay? All right, so we've got our hair in with a nice shadow, okay? Let's work on our scarves, should we? Lots of stripes, lots of stripes, here we go. Let's start with our yellow, okay? I'm gonna get a scoop of white and lighten some yellow, okay? Leave some of that dark yellow. We're gonna lighten some yellow. And we're gonna start putting those in. So we're gonna start with yellow right here. Let your brush, which is shaped like a square, do the work for you. Okay. Then we'll skip a stripe.
The yellow is always going to come off much stronger on the TV screen. So if you're thinking, wow, mine's not that bright, it's okay. It shouldn't be. Okay, a lot of times when we do stripes, we start to like see doubles of everything, okay? And we get confused. So check up at the screen every once in a while so you know you're on the right track with your stripes, okay? Maylee, check your floor, babe. So we're going to put a black line under all of their chins. See this black line? So we're going to clean up that area between the scarf and their face. Okay? So, like, try not to stress about going super close or there being a little messy line there, it's okay, all right? Okay, so if you have any yellow stripes that touch the bottom of your canvas, like Harry's, you need to paint the bottom. Make sure you wrap it around, okay? Bronze? Uh, I just lightened his hair color with white and then made a light orange. Autumn, I think he's so behind it, he's just feeling overwhelmed. Help him catch up. Then Ron has a yellow stripe that goes around the edge as well. Make sure you wrap it. And then Harry's scarf has a little yellow stripe. You'll want to put in with your detail, okay? Just a little triangle right there. The red? Yeah. So this is the little, little triangle you want to put into Harry's scarf. See how you can see just a little bit of his scarf? Okay, so stick that in. See how I did it right there? Put just that little bit in right there.
if you want to after you have them in I like to put a corner of my brush in that darker yellow and then just brush in a little shadow on my stripes okay optional again it just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension it's not so flat you could do it on both sides of your stripe or just one side Okay, I'm going to give you guys a minute to get those stripes in, okay? And again, if you want to add that little bit of shadow in there, just put some of that darker yellow on one corner of your brush and put it in those stripes. You can do it on both sides of the stripes or one side of the stripe. Whatever your heart desires. And check your edges. Make sure you wrapped around. Do we know each other from somewhere other than here? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you have been here before a few times. Okay. Okay. Well, when you came in, I was like, you look like, you look like someone I've seen many times. I don't, and, and I had that moment where I was like, is she expecting me to probably check? Maybe she's like, so rude. She doesn't recognize me. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Good. Looks awesome. All my boys are caught up to me like usual, huh? Boys are usually my... St oh, it's okay. You're doing good. How you doing, bud? Good? Girls, good? What's wrong? Oh. Yes. All right. Good job, friends. We're going to do our red stripes in just a second. You raising your hand, buddy? What's up? Yeah. Here you go, sweetie. Okay, you guys are doing great. I know some of you feel super far behind. I'm not going to kick you out till your painting's done, okay? If you go at your pace, I'd rather you go slower and love it than fast and hate it, okay? Let's work on our red or maroon stripes, okay? Um, I like to add a little bit of brown to my red. If you've got some of that dark brown left. Kind of just darken it up a little bit. Just don't use um, black. You'll have more of a purpley tone. Let's 
So I'm just using the brown to mute this red a little bit. If you want it super bright, you can just use the red straight as it is. Okay, I'm gonna tone it down with some brown. You will probably need two coats of your red stripes because red just naturally needs another layer. So just do, start on one end of your canvas, put your stripes in, go back, and do it again. They'll be dry enough for you to just do it back to back, okay? So see how I'm not worried about right by her chin? I'd rather there be a little white left than for me to get red in her skin because I'm going to put a black line there, okay? You can brush these into your robe a little bit. Your robe is going to be black, okay? Make sure you wrap. You've got your scarf is going around the side and around the bottom, okay? See how I'm just going right into my robe? It's okay, right? So I'll use my detail brush or my round green, uh, like medium sized brush to get in some of these stripes that are a little bit trickier. Okay, remember, once you do a layer, you can go back to the beginning where you started your um, red and just do a quick another brush stroke through it to help it not have any canvas left behind. 
Maybe yours went on nice and thick and you don't want to do another layer. It's up to you. I'm getting excited. You guys will be amazed once we get the black in how fast you're finished with this painting. This is usually when we get kind of tired. We get a little sloppy, so be sure to stick with it, okay? You are close to the finish line. Okay, I think we're about ready for our black robes. Let me just see where all my friends are at here. We're going to do the robes and Harry's hair. Oh, there you are, Autumn. Just going in the back. Uh, girls, helpers, make sure everybody has clean white at some point for highlights when we get to him. Okay, so I'm going to keep using my red flat to do the robes and Harry's hair. When I do Harry's hair, though, I'm going to not try and get those fine points of all those flyaway hairs with my um, big brush. I'll go back and do it with my detail, okay? Loosen up your black paint. It's been sitting there untouched for a full hour, over an hour, okay? Add some water to it and loosen it up. Remember that melted ice cream, right? So I dip my brush in water, and then I mix that wet brush full of water into my paint. And with black, you can use your dirty water. It doesn't have to be your clean. Okay, so... Once you cover something in black, it's that it's going to stay, okay? So you just did all this hard work. Don't get too crazy, okay? You can start in the hair or on the robes, whatever you want. But see how it just cleans up any of the scarf color that you may have gotten in your robe? Make sure you wrap the bottom of your canvas. It's going to have a lot of black from all these robes, right? you're nervous, switch to your medium green brush. Okay. Let's 
but we still have some detail brush work to do so don't get too concerned about some of this stuff we're going to still clean it up a bit Switch your brushes whenever you need to with Harry's hair. I usually try and do as much as I can with my big brush so I don't have all the brush strokes the little brushes give me, and then I'll switch. Look up at the screen every once in a while if you need to know where things go. Sometimes all of our lines can get confusing. Harry's always got that messy hair, right? He's got a lot going on. Look up at the screen for Harry's hair. He's got a lot going on. Oh, see, I told you that. You put that black in and you're pretty much there, huh? Except for you. <laughs> you're going at your pace. Totally fine.
Are you going to do Ron's rope? Is he in you? Did you miss Ron? <laughs> I wondered if you were going to put him in a white robe. Okay, <laughs> so I know you're, a lot of you are still filling in robes. That's okay. But I'm going to start doing some detail work for those that are ready. So when their parents come, they'll be ready, ready to go, okay? So make sure that your black is nice and thinned out, okay? And then, like I said, we're going to do a couple of black lines under their chin and their scarfs to kind of separate all the things happening. So I'm going to use my detail brush to do a nice line under the chins like that, okay? And then around their scarf. Kind of closes up the scarf, okay? And where their little knot separates in the scarf, okay? So if you're still filling in the black, it's okay, because you'll be able to look up and see where I put these black lines, and all will be well. So I see how I'm just using my black to close in my scarves and the neck area. Now, when we get to our faces, guys, you don't have to do the faces I did. I kept it really simple because I'm going to just be honest with you guys. Faces scare me. They always have my whole painting career. So I kept them really simple, okay? You can do whatever you want. You can have opened eyes. Mine are all closed. Don't forget this lightning bolt on Harry's forehead, okay? They can be sad. They can be happy. I don't really care. This is your trio, okay? So I'm going to work on my faces now, and those glasses, you're just going to outline in black, okay? Harry's little scar is going to go right through his bangs, okay? So you can see it. Just kind of do that lightning bolt right through his bangs, okay? And I'm going to start over here. Again, I did, I did closed eyes. But I did give her some lashes because, of course, she needs that, right? For the nose, I just did the tiniest little. And then a side smile, OK? Again, this is your painting. You want to get creative with it and do open eyes. You do whatever you want to do that way, okay? Harry's glasses are going to be the most challenging because you've got to do that circle. I like to just kind of do half of it like that and then reload my brush to do the other half.
Don't try and do these small brush strokes with a big brush. Use your detail brush, okay? Maylee, behind you. Just check on her. And then make sure you get the rim of his glasses behind his ears. Oh, it's coming together. We're going to start to see Harry here. See how fun it is? All those steps, and then you get to this part, and it's like, there it is. All your hard work. Okay, we are going to do highlights after the faces, so I'm going to give you guys a minute. I'll have to do highlights in just a second, though, because class is going to be over, and those who are done, I want to be able to go, but you guys don't rush. I want you to be happy with your piece, so take the time that you need, and you can, ev you can even pause your details and do highlights with me and then go back to your um, face. What's up, bud? Okay, let me grab one. Maybe I have one. This one's dry. Oh, these are so cute, you guys. Go. You're doing good. What's up, Penny? Which, what part? Yeah. Don't try and paint over it until it dries. Otherwise, it'll spread, okay? Okay, friends, I want you to stop a minute and watch me do highlights or do them with me and then go back to your face details, okay? So get your biggest brush, get it nice and wet in your clean water, and then run your fingers down it to get some of the water out but not all of it, okay? Then dip half of it into white, okay? And you are going to put a nice, thick highlight right across their scarf. Okay? Just like that. See? So just like you're doing a big smiley face. You are indicating that this is going around something, okay? And then I like to go down their scarf too, right through all the stripes. Anytime your brush gets dry, get some more water on it. And this is how you're going to separate um, Harry and Ron's robes too, okay? See, now we have two different things happening instead of everyone just blending together, okay? And then you're going to give some highlights in their hair 
everybody but Ron, because we already gave him highlights. Okay, now that you know how to do your highlights, you can finish your faces if you want. Autumn, can you look kitty corner from you, see what he needs? I'm going to give Harry a few highlights in his hair. And you guys, then you sign your name, okay? I know so many of you are still working. This is a very important piece to you, so you just keep working. I'm going to sign my piece. When you're ready to sign, make sure you use your detail brush. Okay, sign it wherever your heart desires. Just don't sign it with a big brush because then it won't work out so well, okay? I'm gonna walk around and check on you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Keep painting. You can keep painting as long as your mom says it's okay, all right? So keep working on it. If you have any questions, let me know. You guys did awesome, okay? Oh, and don't, if you are done and you're leaving, make sure you leave your aprons here, okay? What's up? Do you have any more skin tones? Okay. I'll leave this. 